The first case is the simulation of cylindrical rod under mechanical stress. The cylindrical rod is made of aluminum alloy. It has length of 3 meters and the cross-section diameter of 30 millimeters. The force of 85 kilonewtons is applied to the rod end and directed along the rod. And our task is to calculate the rod elongation. I will start from sketch so we can see all the steps. So I start quick field and will create the new problem. I should specify the problem name and the location folder. Then I should specify the problem type, the stress analysis, and the model class. I will choose the axisymmetric model class, which is suitable to simulate the cylindrical objects. Now here is the problem tree and you can see the geometry model editor window. Here I should draw the geometry model. So the road length is 3 meters. Its diameter is at 30 millimeters, so I simply duplicate this. This is the cross section of the road and I draw only the upper half of the cross section. The horizontal axis, this one, is the axis of rotation. Now I should assign the labels to every geometric object. This is the axis. This is the aluminum. I will have this and fix it. And I will apply the force to this end. On the next step, I should specify the physical properties to the each of the object. So for the X, for the axis I specify zero displacement in radial direction. For the fixed end of the road, I specify zero displacement in the direction. And I should apply the force. You see, instead of Newtons, I should specify the force, the su surface force, or the force density. 
which is uh, calculated as force divided by the cross-section area. Quick filter allows you to specify not only the values but also the formulas. So I will type in here the formula, the force divided by the cross-section area, which is P multiplied by the diameter square divided by 4. And I should specify the physical properties for the aluminum. Now the Young's modulus of the aluminum is 70 gigapascals. And the coefficient here is One third. Now I have the geometry model ready, and I have all the objects described. The last step is to build the finite element mesh. I will zoom in to show you that the mesh was built in fact. Now I should save all problem files and run the simulation. After the problem is solved, you can see the results. You can see actually the deformed the deformed shape and the boundary of the rod and the column map of the failure criteria. Let's switch on the column map of the displacement. You may note that this deformed shape is scaled so we can see the shape on the screen. In fact, if we ha set the scale to one, we will hardly see any change because the maximum displacement is only five millimeters. Now we can see the column map of the displacement. And this is the displacement, the deformed boundary. We can also switch the vectors of displacement. And we can switch on the color, for example, the principal stress color map. The vector that denotes the direction of the displacement and the green color denotes the stress distribution, the stress in the road. You may note that the stress distribution is uniform because we have this same cross section along the road. Now back to our task, the road Elongation is, I will click this point, and the displacement of this point is 5 millimeters.